here in the video lab, we're proud of our interactive video kiosk. It was designed as an interdisciplinary project between ICS students and those in the computer science department. Using a touch screen, the user can access a variety of information. For example, if on the men's sports screen I choose basketball, I have a choice between the team schedule or highlights, which are presented using optical disc technology. Also included in the lab are a video jukebox, which combines laser disc and robotics technology, two SVHS videotape editing systems, and four computer graphics stations. We have choices of picture it, reel, and tip software, as well as image capture capabilities. The importance of the video lab is for ICS students to learn how to create visual materials in a professional manner for resume tapes, class projects, or presentations. Hello, welcome to the data lab. Within this laboratory, students have assembled a unique network and applications environment utilizing an AT&T 3B2 Series 500 network server. This lab is set up to integrate all of the laboratories in order to prepare ICS students for the industry shift to digital transmission of voice, data, and video. The networking power represented in this lab ranges from a 1200 baud dial-up modem to 10 megabit per second ethernet. In addition to the networking applications of the data lab, here we support many of the same software packages found in the applications lab, including business and productive packages like word processing, database, spreadsheet, plus graphics. But here we can introduce students into using familiar DOS applications in the Unix environment, as well as programming in languages such as C for a more well-rounded computer experience. The Voice Lab is a self-contained laboratory used to introduce students to telephone systems. This is where CICS students get hands-on experience in learning specific PBX features and applications. We also will have opportunities to learn how to program and install a telephone. To support the student studies, the Voice Lab has three private branch exchanges. These PBXs are computer-controlled voice and data switching devices. They all provide standard telephone service, but two of them have digital stations and are capable of end-to-end -end digital voice and data transmission. This is the AT&T System 75. It is a modern PBX, which is the product of some of the latest technology, which enabled it to be shrunk to tabletop size. The System 75 in the lab has a capacity of 100 lines and will switch both voice and data calls. The System Access Terminal and System Software display a help screen at the press of a key. The Applications Lab was designed primarily to serve the students and faculty of our department. Generally, students use the lab facility to work on class-related projects and or assignments. The lab is special because it provides students with hands-on experimentation with local area networking, data communications, and data processing. Some of the more popular applications include HyperCard, Harvard Graphics, Picture It, PageMaker, and standard business-related software, including database management, spreadsheet analysis, and word processing. Unix, DOS, and Apple are available in this particular lab. Therefore, students are exposed to a variety of popular operating systems. The Applications Lab is continually growing and expanding. We strive to incorporate new technologies as they become available. <laughs>